Hi, this is Lucas Ridley with digitalcreatorschool.com. Let's quickly make an infinity background. So here we are in Maya and we just need to create a plane and hit F to frame up on it. And there's basically two ways we can do it. The first is with this plane, go to deform nonlinear bend and then just crank up the curvature. And then we can just rotate it 90 degrees and then turn one of the bounds down. So that is an infinity background. Now, of course, you still have access to all of the polyplane subdivisions if we wanted to make that a smoother subdivision on the curve axis. So there's one way to make an infinity background. The second way, I'm just gonna delete that, is to create a box. And if we wanted it to be even with the world ground plane, we can just hold D and V, snap it to the bottom, then hold X to snap it to the grid, then go into face mode and then just select, you know, all of them but two faces basically. And then what we need to do is go into edge mode, select that edge, and then just bevel it from the poly uh, bevel, uh, the poly modeling shelf there. Then we can increase the segments and then we just need to reverse the normals because this is the inside of that cube. So we go to mesh display, reverse, go back to object mode, right clicking, deselect, and then of course we can scale this up and then move this edge forward if we want it to be a longer surface there. So that's two ways to create an infinity background for your models and your renders. Uh, check out digitalcreatorschool.com if you want to learn more about Maya especially, but um, After Effects and all kinds of stuff. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.